Hello everyone, today we are here at Pearl Harbor and we're going to show you around a bit and we're also going to show you how to get here by bus and we will show you some of the options that they have here for food and maybe even some of the shopping here at the gift shop, so stick around. It's pretty convenient that the hotel is right here in this corner, just literally across the street and here's the stop for bus number 20 and 42 and it'll take us around an hour to get there. Just use your holo card and then you are able to get on pretty easily. So this is what the holo cards look like. You can just get them at the ABC stores. They're pretty much all over Waikiki. And you don't have to activate them or anything. As soon as you get on the bus, you can just use it and they're ready to go. The card itself costs $2 and those are refillable. And then we loaded up a day pass, which is $7.50. So all together it was only 950 and you can travel as much as you want all day. We looked into renting a car but it is pretty expensive so we decided we'll save some money on this one. And also we have a lot of time to go do the things that we want to do anyway so might as well use the cheaper option. Also we don't have to pay for parking once we're there and I hear it can get quite busy. So that's another way to maybe save some time and some money once you're there. So we just got here to the memorial stop and you can see the bus will drop you off right here. This will give you some information and the entrance is right over there. There's a lot of people already here, but we're still pretty early. It only took us around an hour to get here. So as you can see right here, it gives you some information so you can plan your visit. Right here it says that there are no bags allowed. So just keep that in mind. There are some lockers though that you can rent out and this opens at seven, closes at five, and most of them you can just walk on your own, but the Arizona is the memorial that requires a ticket. Just came to the Arizona Memorial standby check-in. You can reserve online. They do charge like a dollar fee. So you can also do it here, you give them your phone number and then they text you with your return time. So ours is in about 10 minutes. They take you out on a boat out into the water, but we'll see how it is. So once you go on the standby, you just turn left and then you'll walk down this pathway so you can get to the standby line. Seems like a pretty efficient system. So there aren't two lines. That one is for the people that had the reservations right here. So they'll go in first and then we, once you check in, you stand in this one, which is the standby. So everything that was on the website is what they're giving us for instructions. So it matches everything. I think that's really good. After around a five minute briefing in the building, you come out to board the ship. That I should take you to the Arizona Memorial site. So this is where some of the remains for the USS Arizona are. This is one of the three ships out of the 21 that were here in 1941 that actually sunk. The rest of the 18 ships were actually recouped and then fixed and used again by the Navy. But these three unfortunately were the ones that were no longer able to be repaired. You can see here the front of the ship. The memorial is built more or less in the middle of the ship. So we would highly recommend that you visit the USS Arizona Memorial because if you come and just go on the standby early enough, you don't have to pay and there will be space and it's something that's uh, well worth seeing. So you can get some of the history and perspective of what happened here. As you can see, some of the areas are not that busy, but the entrance, I'm not sure if you can see from here, and this area right here is starting to get more busy. So just keep that in mind in case you're coming later, do make a reservation so you can make sure you get on the USS Arizona Memorial. It's a beautiful site, but lots of unfortunate history here. So there's also a museum here, the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum, and you do have to pay for this one. It's $21.99 for adults and $12.99 for children. You do get to go out there on the submarine, which is pretty cool, there's a lot of people there. But we're gonna skip this one and we're just gonna walk around but it's a good option to have here. We came into the movie theater too and we're gonna watch a film that's related to the history for the USS Arizona Memorial. And it starts every hour at 15.45 mark. So we're here for the 10.45 o'clock uh, show. So I would highly recommend that you watch that video. You might already know the history, but it's still good to feel the difference when you're actually here in the location. And it gives you a refresher, of course, of some of the significance and the context of the area. Now we're walking into the gift shop in case you want to get some souvenirs. They have plenty of things here. So it's not such a big shop, but they do have a ton of stuff from shirts to mugs. And they even have Christmas tree ornaments, so they'll have all type of things. 
what you might want. And we do see a sign that says tax free, so maybe that's good as well. It'll be cheaper prices. Do you end up buying something? The proceeds go to preserve the national park, and so you're helping out, letting more people come and visit this place. So we're heading out now after around two hours and a half here, and you can definitely spend more time. But I think that's gonna be it for us. And now we're gonna go get something to eat. It's a short walk, maybe like six minutes. And then we'll show you where we are. Real quick before we go, and in case you bring a car, it's actually $7 for you to park here. It's pretty convenient because the parking lot is right here. And then the actual site is right there. And there does seem to be a lot of parking space, but as you can see, it's already pretty full because it's almost noon. And we also see that there's a lot more people now. We're gonna have to wait about 30 minutes for a table to sit by the water. There's a menu downstairs, so we're just looking at what to order. Yeah, so it's definitely a popular place because we have to wait a bit and it is pretty busy. It's so nice here. There is free parking for the restaurant. Um, but yeah, it's very busy right now because it's lunchtime. So we asked for one of these tables here by the water. It's a great view and of course it's really fresh here, which is what we're loving everywhere we go. The views are amazing. Uh, and you get a breeze every time. Oh, it's a really good place just to come and sit over the water. Um, I ordered the hash bowl with uh, kalua pork. And it comes with eggs because the French menu is still open, so I might as well get some of that. And then Eddie ordered some fish, fish and chips. So we'll see how that is. This is a hash bowl. It comes with kalua pork, egg, jalapeno, and then like tomatoes and cheese. And potatoes, of course. <laughs> the pork is crispy and it's like very light seasoning but the flavor is so good it's kind of like been marinated for hours or something this is really good so i tried a little bit of the pork and that one is great really good actually i don't know if i'm gonna get a little fomo but i always go with the fish and chips which is a good one <laughs> So I'd say I highly recommend that place. It was really good and the prices weren't too bad. And of course the ambiance and being by the water is great. Just wanted to give more thoughts on Pearl Harbor. I thought that it was a great place, really beautiful. And of course, it's great that we don't forget what happened there because it was very tragic and that they memorialize it. But it's interesting trying to shoot some of these videos and think about the significance of the place and also try to enjoy it, but give it the respect and honor that it deserves. So I just felt, and I think we both felt that it was interesting how we felt actually trying to describe the area because it carries more significance, of course. But we highly recommend it. It's free of charge and you can get here by bus or you can drive. You have that option. But now at least you know how to come by bus and that there is a place where you can eat afterwards. Before we forget, we also wanted to say thank you to actually one of our subscribers who served and is now retired. He also happens to be my uncle. So thank you for your service and for everyone else that served before.